I'm currently picturing Ohaka like holding their bags out, <laughs> out in front. Oh no, he's he's definitely he is waiting at the exit of the ride, and before they go in, he just says, "I'll wait at the exit. I want to check out the shooting range." Like just matter of factly. Hey, bye. Boring, uh, boring see boyfriend you later. at Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> Six flags. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, fifteen. Uh, fifteen. And Luna. Uh, one sec. Sorry. Uh, survival. That's gonna be. That's gonna be a net twenty twenty-five. Oh, Ooh. very nice. Twenty-three. 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 Is that regardless? Is that the that's, first net yeah. twenty of the campaign? I uh. I I, I think, think that I, might be the second, actually. That's the second. I think I rolled one. Okay. There was, yeah, there was one before, and then this mm -hmm. is the second yeah. one. So mm -hmm. that's really good because we're, your first I rolled room. one, too. Oh, on what? Performance. Oh, that's right. Yeah, on the performance with the skirt. That's right. Be blessed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was great. So the first room in the fungeon is a house of mirrors, of a hall of mirrors. Oh, no. And you kind of like... You, you, Andy, you see Luna almost meditate into a very uh, zen mindset as they are able to sense which direction truly is the right path as people you're passing by are bumping into the mirror walls and not quite knowing exactly where they're going but Luna's sense of direction knows left, right stop here, turn around the corner that's, that's going to end up being a reflection and in like a minute or two you easily get into the next room how did you do that? It was bloody brilliant. Magic. <laughs> Magic. Okay. That tracks, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now uh, there are a series of... Um, you've come to the first treasure room. Um, there are a series of boxes. Uh, some are a little more uh, rusty latched. Others are a little bit more ornate. Obviously, they're not very... Uh, uh, they don't look like they're actual treasure chests, but they're definitely made to look like, you know, they've been, th these are hand-me-downs or, or things they found in, in stores that they've brushed up real nice. Not a great job, but nice enough. Uh, and you uh, do see that a sign says, pick a treasure, cut your peril. <laughs> I mean, it's a place oh. called the Fungin. How much peril could there really be? <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh... You pick. You pick. All right. You've got okay. four boxes in front of you. Mm -hmm. Roll a d4. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, how do I not have one? This is the best part about these particular types of things is that there's a lot of rolling, so we get the most out of our dice with these. Heck yeah. yeah actually, All right. Three. All right. So you go to the third box. Um. Would you like to check for traps? <laughs> uh, yes, I would. I would. All right. Let's roll perception. All right. Or investigation, excuse me. All right. Either way, uh, investigation. That's a 16. 16. As you mm -hmm. kind of, like, take a second to look, it, it seems pretty plain to see as a open and shut case of a literal open and shut case. Um, <laughs> and you go to touch the lock, but you realize a little bit just before you touch it that there is kind of like a little like like air coming, like pushing this flimsy lock from behind it. Um, and uh, kind of 
look around and there are like some little twigs or sticks that seem unassuming, but it looks like those are supposed to assist you. And as you take one and just kind of lift it up slowly, you hear, and just before it opens up this like puff of smoke and like a little like jack-in-the-box type clown <laughs> with a little sign that says loser on it. But that's not, not that's not kind. You have to be rude. Nice. <laughs> oh, you lose the game, yeah. loser. Uh, uh, <laughs> and you realize, ah, oh, picked the wrong box. Oh, I didn't know there was like a right box. <laughs> it seemed like the, they were all treasure, and we had to just take one. Like, disarm it, right? Or yeah, something. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, all right, ne- next room? I guess we'll just... <laughs> that was lame. Uh, yeah, sure. All right. let's, let's go. That's a, that's a one star for that room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like you guys to make a... Hmm. Uh, let, okay, so, you go through the door, and it is a straight tunnel uh, that is, like, it's this just tubular tunnel that is of, of what seems to be just lit rock, uh, like this glowing phosphorus-covered rock, uh, with a wooden plank bridge set from one side to the other side. Um, and as you go through that first, uh, you know, the, the first door to, into this rock tunnel, all of a sudden there is a bright shimmer from the glow of the rock, and the whole tunnel feels like it's starting to rotate. So, I need both of you to do a wisdom saving throw. See what your orientation is from this dizzying room. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) Oh, that's a seven. Ooh. I I also rolled a seven. Ooh, okay. So. (laughs) Best friends forever. (laughs) Thanks, bestie. (laughs) It's gonna be a little rough trying to get your wits about you as the you try to focus right on the center door so that the orientation doesn't feel like the whole room is shifting to the left. Um, but eventually you get there and uh, it's just you're just gonna feel a bit of a strong headache uh, towards oh. after you get out of the room. Uh, but I was is... promised fun and that was not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. Neg- negative seven stars. <laughs> Now, They're not doing too well here. Now in this next uh, treasure room, there are uh, hanging from the ceilings these little uh, keys from different bits of string, all just hanging about like just above your head. Um, and then on the wall uh, surrounding you, randomly placed, are what look like um, cubby doors with locks on them. Are there any keys that look different, or are they all different? Make an investigation check. All right. Ooh, yes. Um, 19 plus 2, 21. Wow, okay. You do, as you really kind of like take a look at each key that's hanging, and it's not the best lit room, obviously on purpose, but you do notice that one of the keys is the only one to have a small jewel embedded on the uh, top of it. All right, um, Lena, yes. Lena, do yes. you see? So, so looking at all the keys, do you see that one? It's got like a jewel on it. It's I got think a that's glimmer. Yes. Yeah, I think that's the only one. Like, do you think like you're supposed to like take it? We'll take it and, and like open. We, um, we would have to find which one it goes to. Which box? Which box? Can can we uh, can we like reach up and grab it? Yeah, go for it. Can we check? First for traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check for traps so, first. Yeah, let's, uh, so what do I roll for? What am I rolling now? Can we, can I help check for traps? <laughs> <laughs> I will say, uh, give, um, give me an investigation with advantage because she's helping you. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. So, um, you realize, like, okay, it does seem like just take the key and you go for it carefully but you are they're are all pretty close together so when you grab one uh, it, it kind of gets hooked onto a little bit of another one and you think like okay hold on just, just a minute but 
When you bring it down, eventually, keys just just chime together a little bit like a wind chime. Oh. Nothing happens. So can I break it off the string, or is yeah, it yeah, it just kind of comes room? down with the string, and the string is attached to it, so it's no longer on the seal. Okay. okay. Um, can I investigate to see to investigate the boxes? Because yeah, so look, box. look for the matching boxes. Yeah, it, got, it doesn't take hot, uh, much to determine that the jeweled um, the jewel tipped uh, key is going to match to a jewel tip lock, which you do oh, eventually okay. find. There are, um, okay. As the rest are pretty much false locks. Uh, and uh, with a simple open up, you see that there is inside a small little pouch. Ooh! I really hope it doesn't say you lose inside. That would be so lame. Uh, okay. What's what's in it? Okay. So, um, Luna's gonna untie it and then open it up. Uh, Roll a d100 for me, Luna. Okay. <laughs> That's 52. So you pull out a a single (laughs) earring that's shaped like a smiling mouth. This is weird. It's rather unique. Yes, it's a little... Should we hold on to it? Uh, did did we get like rules as far as like the treasure was concerned? That, you know, like, uh, it's it's kind of this formulaic of go into a, succeed through a room, find a treasure. Succeed through a room, find a treasure. And this is two of three. I can like I, keep the treasure. Oh, yeah, right. it seems like this is exactly what it was intended to do. Like you want a prize. All right. Do we want to? Is it? Do you like it? Um, be nice. It's sure, sure. I mean, generally, like I, I like to wear earrings as pairs, but um. Right. So do I. It's kind um, of a jib. Oh, you know what? You know what though? You know what though? You know what? You know who that that would look really good on? A walker. Oh, definitely a walker. <laughs> definitely a walker. <sighs> definitely a walker. Yeah, let's keep it. We can give it yes. to him. Mm-hmm. Outside, real quick to kind of the the outside of the uh, of the as you're just hearing like little small traveling like uh, marching band going by. <laughs> they are not that good, <laughs> but they are handing out flyers. End of the day, battle of the bards. End of the day, battle of the bards. And it's I just grab like, the, I grab the, I grab one of it and look at it, and I look up and I go. Tune your tuba. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And then as they pass by, I, I look at the ad, and all of a sudden I feel like a shiver go up my spine as I somehow, like, that feeling you get when someone mentions your name, but you're not in a room, and I go, uh. <laughs> And I just... Smash cut. <laughs> Back into the pungent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you, ahead of you is uh, what seems to be the third and final version, uh, final room, and uh, it is pretty open. And there's this, like these, it looks like a huge pile of gray rocks all on the floor. But there is not not too far on the other side uh, the exit. That's a Luna. simple three by three room, just filled with like rocks and the, what they're placing the floor. Do you think someone broke it? Luna looks down at their like very falling apart sandals and just goes, oh, "Um, <laughs> broke what?" No, you like, do you think that steam come from between some of the rocks? Oh, uh, I was gonna say like I, I thought like perhaps someone broke like what's supposed to be here, but I, I don't think so. All right, no, it looks uh, different than that. Pop the mm. exit on the other side is a leap of faith to your final reward. Do you have do you have some water? Maybe uh, we can shape some water, see if it. Uh, uh, um, steams. actually, I do have water skin. Yeah, so I take out from my bag. I have a water skin. Um, all right. 
can you? Well, if it's if it's very hot. Yeah, they won't do anything. Never mind. It would just evaporate, right? Well, I just want to check, but I mean, sure, yeah, of... yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I will actually uh, open the the water skin, and I will pull some water out using shape water, and just a little bit, and like just kind of like spritz in. Yeah, <laughs> flashes across the rocks. You see the wavering illusion shimmer as it just hits the floor. Oh, well, let's perfect. Let's go. Great, perfect. <laughs> so we just walk on through. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> but should we just walk on through? <laughs> I, I mean, it seems like we should uh, <laughs> check something first. This seems too easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, okay. Um, this house uh, of tricks. Surely, this is the last one. We solved it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we solved the puzzle. Oh, that was close. Uh, <laughs> um, and sure, do, um, I, uh, do a um, uh, perception check to get a scope of the room. Both of you can, or one can do it with advantage. <laughs> you got. Uh, oh. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, 16. Okay. You take a quick scope, and you do notice that there are these little, um, like, holes kind of embedded on the walls on the left and right side. Perfect. Like, just kind of right. sporadically placed, it seems. Should we freeze the walls? Mm. I don't think we can do that. That's wrong. Sorry. Can we check for traps or something? Is there, like, a... It, it I mean, almost, that pretty much kind yeah. of was the check for traps. That... Oh, well, it, it, well that's uh, the trap. Can we check to disarm the trap? <laughs> they might be needles. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, like something's going to poke at us or something. Right. Which also is not fun. So, no, like, again. <laughs> dumb not, ride. Dumb this ride. is not the point. <laughs> this is a New Jersey not, style of fun. <laughs> not fun. Um, this is the, the action park of uh, this world. Yeah, like, <laughs> I just don't a understand. Jersey reference just for us, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Action park. Um, Come for fun. Stay for the broken collarbone. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, it says it says we leap. Something. It says like oh, leap of leap. faith, right? So do we have to like jump? So it looks like it's right. about over it. Looks like it's about ten feet end to end. I can't jump that far. No. Do you think I am? I think I might. Not. I Oops. could swim that far. <laughs> <gasps> um, do we have enough water to fill this entire <laughs> room? I uh, know. <laughs> All right. I mean, we can make shapes with it. You do hear there's a couple people behind you like, come on, we want to get to our treasure, come on. <laughs> you know what? You can just wait, okay? Get the other <laughs> earring. I'll trade you for the other earring. I mean, you can go shoe. first. Here, how about this? How about this? Do you want to go? You can go first. <laughs> you know so much. Yeah, let, let you see, it's just like first. It's just two teenage uh, um, humans. Uh, they go by and they're just like, oh, all right. Um, and one is like, looks at the oh they they look and they see like in the corner there are these rune stones that are casting the minor illusion onto the floor and they're like well oh, just we just run across and the first <laughs> one takes their step right in and then you just hear the and it's just like these air shots that are meant to scare like the the kids as they're going they're like oh my god and they run across to Luna the does side. the same Luna's like oh <laughs> you just feel We've killed them. We should have warned them. Oh, no. <laughs> we could have warned them. We knew. <laughs> and eventually, you get Not to even... the other side. It's just you know, it was a fun little trick at the end that it gives oh, you. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, you've made it to the exit. <laughs> and you see Owaka there waiting for you. <laughs> Well, you're not turned into toads. Oh, we've got I something guess. for you. Yes, we we're not. But it's not very it's fun, gift. but we did get a gift for you. Not, not, not fun at all. But mm. this will be fun. This is fun. Put it's on. for it's for you. I look. Do you even the, have any piercings? I look at the Can earring. Have piercings? <laughs> I look at the two of them. I go. If you put that on me, I will straight up not be happy. <laughs> well, grumpy. You're not generally, so is that supposed to be a deterrent? Not a change. Mm. Here you go. Uh, I, I, I take the earring and I just mm -hmm. put it in my pocket. 
just to appease them. And then I hand Andy the flyer and I go, That was this. Looks like something that you can finally do and not have to steal the money for once. I don't always steal money, but... Ooh, Battle of the Bards. Well, that sounds right up my alley. Especially in this fun house. Not fun. It's a waste of time. Now that we do Come your to thing. the dungeon! It's a fun dungeon! No, it's, it's not, not fun! We get, we, get not the, fun. we get the pun, you jackass. Just it's punny. trying to make my money! <laughs> Yes, yes. All right. Well, okay. Well, this isn't till later, so. Yeah. Where are the others? Yeah. Where did they well, go? Well, the heron gone, and uh... we will cut to them right now. <laughs> <laughs> As Maring those... is hauling Finn quickly over to the pie eating contest stand. <laughs> oh God, it smells so good. And it does. There are so many different um, bakeries being represented there, and they are actually pursuing contestants to represent them. Mm. So I need you, Maring, unless Finn, are yeah. you participating as well? I told her I would. Okay, I need the two of you to roll a d4. I got four. I did as well. Well, Ooh. the one uh, who um, gets to you, your attention first is the, uh, it's kind of like a friar looking like priest um, who is, uh, Finn, you recognize it as a member of the Church of Ancients, uh, possibly probably part of a local uh, uh, church nearby. Um, he is plump. He is happy. He is holding a tray of pie samples like, would you would you like to uh, try try a piece? I of I do I totally do. Oh my yeah. goodness, yes. Uh, it is the first piece is this delectable cherry uh, pie with this amazing cream filling in the center. Uh, mm. Finn, you uh, see another piece that is just looks like this really oh. like the waft of pumpkin spice and oh, a nutmeg comes across it from it. Uh, easily just a pure delectable piece uh you know when it comes to baked goods uh, people who tend to have all their time in the church or monks or anything they're good cooks <laughs> so, so they know what they're doing uh, i am so blessed to see that the two of you have come to oh the, the, the gods of across the multiverse have blessed me with it would you like to be my champions today absolutely fucking sorry yes absolutely Always help you to help out another man of faith. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sister. Uh, uh, if, you, if you don't mind, uh, uh, now, since you're representing me, um, you will be uh, having to uh, sample... Uh, uh, we've all been making a regulation size, uh, and there these, like, little mini pies that you see, um, and uh, the, the samples are... They're, they're more to bring in the, the people of fine taste like yourselves. Uh, but these pies, they're very uh, generic, not so much my you know, thing, but uh, quantity over quality, it seems. In here. Uh, now, the goal is to reach t the first one to eat 20 of these little mini uh, pies, if you want to call them. I think they're more of just uh, fluffy cookies. <laughs> but um, <laughs> if you are the first one to reach to the 20, uh, it gets a share of the prize with their sponsor, which is me. I will, of course, be donating to charity, but you are more than welcome to keep your share. Well, that sounds great. What? What's your name? Oh, uh, my name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah Maring Finn. Pleasure Good to, to meet, meet you. you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. And he looks at you, uh, Maring. You know, I don't meet many people who come from the Feywild, but are, uh. is, is that where your family is from, or are you directly visiting from there? Uh, uh, well, I, I don't really know too much about the Feywild, to be quite honest, honest with you, Jeremiah, but uh, I'm from Terratalia. Oh, hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, uh, so, I'm sorry. So, so, sorry? So, no, oh, no, 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 I just, it's, 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 a, it's a bit of a rougher place for someone like me. <laughs> well, I, well, I see lots of friars over there we do not doing the best things. Oh, well, But they are over there. Well, I, I won't uh, 
Uh, don't judge, don't judge. That's what I've been told. Don't judge. Uh, but very well. Uh, in a few minutes, if you could set yourselves up at the table, uh, they give you these very nice napkins as bibs. Um, and uh, the timer will set, and then you just go to town, as they say. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. 20 pies, light work. And she punches Finn in the elbow. <laughs> uh, so you guys set yourselves up. And uh, next to you, uh, Finn, uh, sitting to your left, is um, a large, like, half-ogre. Kind of looks like he has come to play. Uh, Maring, next to you, mm -hmm. is a half-orc. Kind of, like, skinny, but in that way that, like, the, the people from the hot dog eating contest at Coney Island look, where you're like, <laughs> oh, they can pack it away. <laughs> don't ever judge it. Like, don't be misled by them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both friendly for you. They're, they're given a little bit of, like, competitive ribbing. Like, ah, I'm gonna watch your stomach. Right? Bit of an iron stomach eye myself. <laughs> That's why they call me Old Steel Gut. Um, and uh, you can see that he kind of has, like, this custom breastplate that's made to, like, really, like, protrude over and fit. Um, <laughs> and he just goes, doosh, 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 doosh. and some people in the crowd are like, Steel Gut, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> love that. They love me out there. They yes, love me. still got it. We love you. <laughs> uh, the official comes in, this uh, like wispy mustachio gentleman uh, with a very uh, big white chef's hat. He kind of almost looks like the guy in front of the pizza box, uh, the, cart <laughs> the cartoon that you usually can yes. see. But he is uh, people of the Silvan Empire. It is such a pleasure to be here. My name is Mertuccio, and I am the head chef over at Mertuccio's Palace, which, of course, you can all be invited to for wonderful design, uh, uh, cuisine of all sorts, uh, especially of our local uh, water ganassi uh, friends. Um, but uh, we have the wonderful high eating contest, and there's a yeah, the yeah! Woo! <laughs> you will have two minutes to. Be, uh, to eat as, uh, up to the 20 limit. If you beat the time, you have set a new record and will get a bonus. Uh, if you eat more than the other competitors within the two minutes, uh, you will be our victor. So, hi eaters, are you ready? Yeah. Still gonna go. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> the, fr the the lighter is one next to you is just going. Yes. <laughs> they are. They are concentrated. They are in a zone. He, uh, Mertuccio pulls up a, a red uh, silk napkin. Begin! And the tray of pies are immediately put in front of you. I need the two of you to give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright. That, my dear DM, is a 19. 19 as well. Oh, oh, yes! You'll love yeah. to see it! Oh. <laughs> this uh, spells horror for me eventually. <laughs> it is like water. It is like breathing. You have just inhaled <laughs> one after the other. You are not even using the water that they give you to help clear your throat for some of them. Um, but they're not the greatest little mini pies, but they're not bad. Uh, and um, you, you see uh, the friar is just kind of, yes, 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 I, mm, <laughs> uh, Steel Gut is just kind of, mm -hmm. he's trying to like do that, like pounding at the table to try and get through it, and the timer goes a little bit closer to it, and now I need the two of you uh, to give me a dexterity uh, saving throw to see how, uh, dexterity check, to see how quickly you will be able to get to that 20. <laughs> this is much less good, I'm sure. <laughs> First one to see is if you can handle the eating. Oh, that's 14. a nat 20. Oh, oh. oh. for a 23. So Finn, while you do survive, you end up tapping out just about 16. Mm. But Maring, be far at two at one minute and 58 seconds you get to pi 20 they call the bell done you are the victor and matuccio we have a new champion on top of the table oh there she goes <laughs> yeah 
Yeah! Kill Gunner's guard. The cotton scale! Great job, kiddo! Great. And he, like, kind of goes over to the side. The friar comes up to, to you, Finn. He's like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Comes up to you, Mary. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is no wonderful. Problem. No oh. problem. <laughs> and um, he, he hands you each uh, two gold pieces. Uh, there is your share. The rest of this is going to go to the wonderful charity. This is going to help our library over in the capital. Uh, we are, are building a new uh, section um, all about uh, the expansion of dragon lore. Uh, it's Dragons? Was... Dragons? Oh, you're... you're... Really? You're, you're ah, a, a, yeah, a, yeah. a studier? Oh, wonderful. Y yes, yes, I love dragons. Please, uh, I would uh, love to. Oh, blessings to you, and blessings to you, sir. Uh, thank you so much. And, and he goes and gives you um, these uh, two little, like, tap bottle, corked bottles. Uh, this is just a, a special fun concoction I have. It's a, it's a, I, I call it sweet milk. Uh, it, it's a standard, uh, uh, you know, dairy, if, if you were, but it's got just enough uh, flavor to last you, you take two sips, you'll full the whole day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. It's like my good berries. Yes, yes, Thank sir. you, and I take the uh, one of the two gold that they uh, that he gave me and I pass it back over to him. I said, uh, please put this right back into uh, into the uh, into the Bless you. Thank you so much. Into the truly, fund. Truly Bahamut is looking down on you with the uh, with approval and smiles. <laughs> Maring will keep both of hers. And just <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep both of hers. And it's gonna like tap the fryer on the shoulder. Just kind of like, it's great to meet you, Jeremiah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh, if you uh, if, uh, happen to be passing by any of the, the Envoy discussions, I myself am going to be going over to, uh, and he looks at, um, he looks over to. I'm going to be seeing Captain Marlow. He is going to be discussing about his time with the Wandering Isles. It is an area of the world that I've always wondered so much about. If you happen to be there later, oh please, by all means, I, I might save some seats for you too, my champions. <laughs> oh, that would be lovely. Oh hey, yo, uh, is there any way that we could get some like library cards or something real quick? Because I would love to check out that dragon I don't have any of the paperwork book. by me, but I believe that uh, eventually we can make something happen for you. And any time that you find yourselves at the capital, um, come by to the to the library. It's one of the largest buildings there. <laughs> We're very happy. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> and as a uh, with a grace, graceful farewell and a few people congratulating you uh, along the way, uh, we go to Arlen. Arlen, uh, you have this now free time on you. Um, there is the closest area that you are by is the thrift area. If you'd okay. like to go exploring, um, but uh, there, and a little bit ways away, there's also a uh, the, the tail end of the uh, games and activities area. She would probably. Well, actually, out of curiosity, how much was the stipend that she was given? Uh, you got ten silver. Thank you. Um, she would probably... Hmm. She's more inclined to wander. Okay. Let's have you do... Hmm. I guess survival would be for this one, just to kind of, like, figure out your direction and sense of, you know... Mm -hmm. If it's high, we'll say you have a clear idea of where the easiest place to go to is. Mm, 16. Yeah, I mean, you're tall, so you can see above the crowd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty easy to see that uh, there are some... Um, uh, a lot of people are quickly like packing over to um, sign up for... Uh, different fights or different games, but some of the more tamer areas are where people are going to the local uh, thrift areas for different items. Um, and one uh, particular shop has a, uh, a, a magical uh, trinkets assortment, and there's just this big display shelves, 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 and they all like fold out to 
shove, 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 shove. and uh, just different shapes and sizes. And it seems almost like this, it, the 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 vendor kiosk itself is a magical item, as it almost feels like. Where does it end in terms of shelves and where things are able to open up? Uh, it is a, um, a dwarven gentleman who's got his hair poofed out big time, <laughs> beard braided fantastically. Uh, his eyes are popping with the this just flair and makeup that he's got. He is lim- l- boasting an appearance uh, of a very like uh, like carnival style barker. Uh, with uh, a very uh, flamboyant outfit of reds and uh, deep purples and black stripes. And it's just like, come see my wares. I have things from all across this world. I have traveled many places, oh, far and wide, discovered things, and brought them to you for reasonable prices. Come right up. (laughs) So she approaches, and is there anything that's super dusty, like not been touched in ages. There does seem to be a section that's a bit more relic. Um, mm-hmm. And if you'd like to explore that area, uh, roll a d100 for me, please. Okay. Day. That's the best part about tables for all you GMs out there. Tables help so much in all your games. So this way, you don't have to improvise as much. <laughs> that's a 60. A 60, okay. Math is power. <laughs> uh, as you look at different items, there is a pair of rose-tinted cat eye glasses. Ooh. That's the one that lusters a bit more than some of the others around you. Okay. When you put them on, just try them on, mm-hmm. all of a sudden, there's just this consent, the amount of joy that is being expressed by everybody that is walking by. Almost like these different highlights of like an aura around them. Some mm-hmm. brighter, you do see that uh, when a kid drops their ice cream, aura immediately drops. Uh, and then just mom says, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll get you another one. Right back up. <laughs> These kids are easy. They're the brightest ones. They're the ones that are popping up like, whoa, if it was, was like mm-hmm. a, a happy radar of sorts. <laughs> yeah. Just get like white flashes everywhere and just out. <laughs> yep, that must be a kid. Hold on. <laughs> uh, so you kind of like realize like, oh, okay. And um, mm-hmm. the uh, you, you look towards uh, the gentleman who is selling another item. Um, and it's he's it's got this green tea clay set in front of the person that he's trying to sell, um, and as he's describing it, it's just this ah yes this was from the Jade Dragon Blood Tea uh, 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 sellers <laughs> as he's like, uh, and you can see that as the other person like starts to seem convinced, they look a little eh, maybe not, and his aura as the less they get convinced goes down a little bit mm-hmm. more because <laughs> he knows he's not going to make the sale. Mm-hmm. And despite his grand smile of just trying to, oh, don't worry, some things are not for everyone, and there is nothing <laughs> about mm-hmm. that matches the smile around him. Um, I, I take off the glasses and just, um, hold on, monsieur. Excuse mm-hmm. me. Ah, yes. Um, I was wondering. I'm, I'm sorry. I did not mean to, uh, to interrupt. Um, oh, no, no, no. Some people's tastes vary. Some, you know, they may be interested. But you, you seem like a curious mind. <laughs> yes, it's uh, we. It's not. Um, it gets me into trouble a lot. <laughs> Only the best people do. <laughs> um, oh, I have today. not introduced myself. I apologize. My name is Julian Moore, as in the more I have, the more I can give. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, Manon, c'est Arlet. Ah, fun. Such a beautiful language. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm told frequently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I happen to find uh, these these lunettes um yes come on no uh, come here ah indeed well have you tried them on we oui, yes ah, it then was you know uh, their secrets it it was 
quite bright. It was, uh... Well, yes, they do react the most around children as they have <laughs> the purest brightness of joy coming from mm -hmm. them. And that's exactly what you will see. Uh, they do need a bit of time of charging after a few hours of viewing through, uh, but by dawn the next day, you will have a bright pair of joy-finding glasses. <laughs> hmm. Um, how much? Hmm. You seem like a reasonable person. I... And he... See, he um, Make a perception check for me. Okay. And she is definitely not hiding her cleric badge. I am just, just about to... <laughs> great minds. <laughs> Sorry, what check did you say this was? Make me a perception. Just perception, see if you can okay. get a read on it. Actually, make it inside. Excuse me. Okay. Even better. Mm. Uh, that would make it a 13. Okay, it is very obvious that he spots your badge and mm -hmm. realizes uh, you, you, it makes the connection as soon as he says, I will give it to you for the low price of 10 silver pieces. Oh, uh, oh that's her statement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do this for everyone, you know, but I know that you, no, you're I know, contributing and I, I... your abilities so well to this <laughs> fair establishment. I do appreciate it, and uh, I think if not for me, there might be someone else in my group who um, could Ooh, use these. You travel with another band of uh, adventure seekers. Um, they do seem pretty, um, <laughs> they want to join, they want to, to be a, a a party. They want to be a group together. Um, but I was here to to work, to travail. Um, so I, I don't I don't know. I, I just I just met them yesterday. So still new. Now a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. So and you are about to have several of strangers. Who knows? They could be your best friends. <laughs> hmm. He's just nodding like right. maybe one day. Um so she she does um give over her little the stipend. So Thank she gives you over very her much. Those glasses hmm? are yours and yours alone. Thank you okay. so much. Merci. Uh merci as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she will just if she can she's very curious if there is an arm wrestling thing around <laughs> um let's see yes there is in fact <laughs> sweet <laughs> uh, yeah the next one is at uh, is just about a half hour uh, in terms of their schedule contest um, and you would that line time. up would that line up with her work or no it would Okay. So you may have to decide. Um, so you can check. You can either check in with the rest of your party. You can check in with uh, where your station is. Um. I would probably go and find the party just because I don't know what they're doing. If they're actually going to go through with this, I want to be at the like at the arena okay. or like at the pit wherever they're fighting, challenging, what have you. Um, yeah, so I'll go. I'll go check in with the group because uh, so again, she's been apart from them for a little while. I need everyone but Arlen to make a perception check <laughs> with advantage because told you. Exactly. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be a low DC. <laughs> Sixteen. Perception. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen. Ten. At this point, we're just trying to see who spots her first. You're too stuffed with pies. Yeah. Like, no. I'm too busy. Nine. <laughs> I'm like, like, yeah, Ben. Yeah, oh, I've got nine. Okay. <laughs> Luna, what about you? You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Ah. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So, uh, Awaka and Andy, you're the first to spot uh, Arlen as she is just kind of doing that. She's looking for you, looking down, and there you easily are able to spot each other. And that you all come together in uh, this uh, uh, 
the busy about area, but it's kind of like a, a central uh, cross uh, of a. It's a central area of this hub, uh, where people are going to different spots. I I look around like where do I see the shooting range? Uh, if you look at the map, you will see that it is on. Um, not, it's not too far from where you are, but it is definitely it's cl- a lot closer to the fighting pits. Well, I got one thing I want to do before uh, I guess the pits are the way that uh, everybody's going. And so, how how did everything go, uh, Arlen? What did you end up doing? Did oh. you work or we? Yes, I am in the middle of uh, of um, working here, so they. There was actually three three fights that went on, and um, lot lot of cuts and bruises and broken bones. They are quite good fighters in in there, and um, it was the the head clerics. They are just doing so much, and it's it's very fast. C'est très très rapide, and um, then then I found um, this this. Dwarf, and he was selling these trinkets, and and I found these. Try them on. And I show her the glasses. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I I put I put them on. Yeah. When you look at the rest of the party, you see that Victoria is the brightest, glowing, <laughs> uh, and uh, with just the the satisfied look upon her face. Uh, Finn, not too far behind. Luna is enjoying it. Ar- Arlen as well. Uh, Awaka, just barely getting there in terms of, like, a glow around him. Um, what is this? They, they show if you are, um, everyone's in happiness. It's, uh, oh. too short. Mm-hmm. Oh. Marin, you are very happy. <laughs> so happy. Guys, DM, do I have, like, a prize medal or like a little plate that said pie eater oh, or you something have, you, you have uh you, you definitely kept one of the pie uh pie dishes as a souvenir um even <laughs> though they were just like disposable little tins uh, please t- <laughs> please tell me your face is just covered in cherry <laughs> there's no Her, question <laughs> she has dark like she has dark mocha fur but you can see like the clumps of cherry There's crust like, and in, stuff like just crust, hanging on like down <laughs> her neck a little bit and she's like guys and lifts up the pan i won Felicitation. Oh, good, but congratulations won. well mm. we won we won well. but but i won, <laughs> yeah, I won. <laughs> well that that ex- yeah, that explains that explains that yeah these are are, are amazing he mm-hmm. uh she folds them up see. and mm-hmm. here you go very cool. What'd you guys do? We got a walker and earring. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. No. Put, no. put it on for all of us. Show no. us. Show us. Show us. Show us. No. Can you, can you please it? model it? I want to see it. Take no. it out. What is it? Here, you can have it. And I toss her the earring. No. I catch it. You can't just give a gift. That was a gift for you. To someone else. And that's the first thing we said when we found it. We said a walker. Yeah, literally. We both said it. Uh, no wonder I felt my spine shiver. <clears throat> and I like roll my shoulders. Um, Finn, um, when you see you see the earring, uh, you do recognize the uh, smiling face symbol on the earring, uh, and it is of the god Tamora, which is also known as the goddess of luck or good fortune in um, uh, from the uh, Faerun pantheon, uh, Feywild pantheon. Hmm. So, it looks cool. I mean, if you don't want it, but I also I feel conflicted. I feel like these two are going to hurt me if I keep it. I, um, I look back at Andy and Luna and I go, Fine. We got it for you. And I hold my you. hand out. I take the earring back and I put it in my pocket. Self-exact. See, it's that wasn't truly so not hard. where it's supposed to go. Right. Oh, uh, earring, uh, not, in, uh, not Marin, you have a little. I, I, po- I point oh, up. I point up. At, I point up at my head. Mm-hmm. At, at noting the lack of of ears, <laughs> but in the Being... feather. In a yeah, feather. you could like in a feather. In okay, can't it like? Uh, may I? And I put my hand out towards him. I just stare back at him. Well, this is awkward. 
<laughs> oh, come on, feathers. <laughs> that is, name's not going to stick. It is a rather good nickname, actually. It is. Oh, it's sticking with me. It's already Pretty sticking. Stuck. <laughs> I think you it's already hear, stuck. You yes. he, you hear him grumble, and he's like, Shisa, eat that. And he, like, <laughs> grumbles in Aran, which sounds like German. Uh, and... Do can we just go to the shooting range, please? Ooh, there's a shooting range? Do you give him the, uh, the earring? I don't give him the earring. Okay. Um, <laughs> Finn, um, you can you make a um, perception check for me? Fifteen. Okay. Um, there is a bit of, like, a faint, like, not quite sure, but it sounds like there is a bit of a whisper, like, vo voice coming from that, like, area there after he put it in his pocket. You kind of hear, like, this whispering in the back of your head. It's hard to make out for the most part, but it, it just, it kind of sounds like, it, like, you got this feeling, like, this compulsion that it's, it's, it's asking you to, um, to wear it. Hmm. It's just, it's like this weird, like... <laughs> is, he, is he, like, hiding it from us? Uh... Am, am I hiding? Uh, yes. uh, yeah, Do I'm just letting it kind of kind of roll. It, it's more no, you so... Don't you don't react. No, I have uh, still kind of the look of dejection with my hand still out. Oh. Mind you. Mm -hmm. uh, Walker, so... he just wants to look at it. <laughs> just give it to him. I'm going to say this discussion is going to be going on as we get to the range. Um, They're walking and talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, yes, very uh, West Wing style. Um, <laughs> and uh, eventually you get to the shooting range. Uh, and it is much uh, a, a lot of like gunslinger types who are all looking to impress uh, any of the uh, in nearby um, uh, artificers that may want to sponsor them or some law enforcement that they're trying to kind of like maybe get into good graces of. Uh, do a, give me a uh, perception check from you, Awaka. Oh, okay. To kind of get of an eye of your competition. Natural 20. You can tell a lot of these people are posers. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured is, I kind of figured gonna that. This is going to be easy money for you. Uh, as a lot of them are just like trying to do flair and they're mostly like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, they barely know what they're talking about in terms of the weapons they're handling. Um, and uh, it's uh, at the sign you see it's a five copper sign up, um, which uh, easily hands over. Uh, they say you have to check your own weapons if you're carrying them because they need to, you are going to be, for the fairness of the game, be provided the same type of pistol. Oh, shit. I thought we were here showing off, but fine. I look around to the I look around to the cops and I look to see if I recognize any of them. Um, they seem like uh, young kids who've kind of been put on uh, patrol for this. Um, you know, the 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 older uh, law enforcement of the area is not going to bother with a festival and they just kind of put the young uh, cadets on board to look over stuff like this. Well, I look at the guy operating the um, operating the stand, and uh, I was told by Eldon that uh, this is a place where we can show our real skills. No offense to the uh, weaponry you got here, but um... no, 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 no. In fact, these are these are Eldon's uh, designs. They're, they're made to kind of levy the playing field. Hey, if they figure if you're good at what you do, you can master this no problem. All right. I look at the selection. What do I see? Uh, the basically what's being handed out is a single shooter pistol. Uh, they're a, a, a bit of a slow re reload. It's it's more like kind of like pack in. It's meant to do just kind of a range shot, and you're uh, each with each person taking turns. They're gonna try. Uh, it gives you the amount, the allotted amount of time to pack in the next bullet. I look I look at it. and I'm like muzzle loaders, really. Well, you know, it's kind of a traditional thing. It's ever since the first uh, ones that they made a few decades ago, they're just kind of a you know, kind of just I mean, a traditional thing. I mean, shit, shelled ammunition's been around for ten years. 
Yeah, and it's a bit more for the uh, licensed kind. So oh, it's well, just, we got to be uh, careful. Well, that explains it. And I like flip out the little passport that has a, a picture of a younger but still pissed looking Awaka in the front. And then there are pages of stamps that indicate different towns where he has been and has bounty hunted for. And he just flips the booklet shut and puts it in and like, but all right. Very much like the uh, the the uh, newspaper images in a certain uh, type of um, book about a student who goes uh, a kid who goes to a wizard school. Uh, the 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 picture is an enchantment, uh, so it's his image that of just a scowling, as much as a uh, Aarakocra can scowl. Uh, you see it in the image of uh, that is imprinted onto this piece of paper. Um, he sees that he's. he's checks out, uh, he takes your weapons, they put them into a, a specific like, little uh, you know, brass cage that's individually locked. Um, so you'll get that at the end of the contest. Best of luck mm -hmm. to you. It's three shots. Closest to this uh, bull's eyes are the uh, winners. All right. <sighs> I go up to the line, and I look at the weapon, and I check it out, and I search back into my mind for the last time that I loaded a muzzle-loaded pistol, and I uh, do a history check for me. Can I do that with advantage since I'm yes, a gunslinger? You do, yes, since you obviously this is your weapon okay. of preference. History check? Yeah. <laughs> Five. <laughs> it's so plain and generic. It's kind of like. I know how to handle a gun, but like, this is just. Do they even try to like just recreate something? Like, there's no way you could identify the kind of model this was emulating. It's just like this is so unremarkable. There's no way to figure out what they were trying to do. I kind of look at it and I sort of smirk, thinking about the very first rusty pistol that I was handed <laughs> all those years ago, and how it eventually became the sidearm that's sitting in the locker right now. So uh, as All each right. um, each uh, gunsmith uh, and gunslinger is prepping, um, next to you are uh, just uh, two individuals that um, very plain clothed. Uh, one is um, a uh, dwarven gentleman who is uh, very um, trying to discreetly ask if one of the attendants. Look, I'm not saying I need a stool. I'm just saying that if you want me even level keeled at everyone else, just don't make a big deal out of it, okay? And the attendant <laughs> just goes. <laughs> uh, and the the one to uh, that that one was to your right. The one to your left is um, pretty big, like wide brimmed hat, keeping it low. Uh, not too dissimilar clothing from you, but not so much a. Uh, or some braille, but just more of like a little wider brimmed hat, big dusty uh, leather jackets, um, uh, kind of like somewhat of a, a refined poker player you, you've encountered in, in different towns that tends to ha uh, have a pistol at their sides. Um, the, you know, scruff beard uh, looking at, uh, the, you, they tip their hat as a bit of gesture of, of, of sportsmanship. Um, you could see the elven ears uh, on be from behind their long hair that they move back to kind of get it out of their face as they prep. I, do I recall this person's name since I've met them several times? Uh, That's just similar to someone yeah. that okay. you've probably encountered in different uh, poker tables and towns that uh, you've happened to come across. Uh, it's almost like they're an archetype of sorts, but they're trying not to really call too much attention to themselves. Uh, so, uh, there are a few, uh, there's about like 10 of you, you're kind of towards, uh, you're like fourth in line, eventually gets to you, I will need you to, um, you're going to make an attack roll, uh, so it's just a, a just a d20 roll, um, but since you, in, instead of it being like you're firing your weapon, I'll let you do this with advantage because uh, it, it's your weapon of preference. Am I doing this since it's an attack roll? So it's a regular d20. Okay. On the screen? So no, no, just, just, okay, just okay. roll here. Yeah. D20 got it. with advantage. A little too. Because I haven't, I don't usually do that. Hmm. Uh, I mean, 18. if you were firing a crossbow, it would just be a, a regular. Yeah. Uh, 18. 18. 
Yeah. You do pretty well, uh, and it just it gets into that center ring. Not quite bullseye, but definitely very, very close, as it just pierces right through. Uh, I, I, this, the same I, happens to the gentleman to your left as it goes from right to left, as the dwarven gentleman, um, unfortunately, fires, and it kind of like they didn't realize the reverb was, and they go back a little bit. Like got to hold it with two. Got to hold it with two hands, bro. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I just uh, fine. You know, you just got to shake the rust off. It's been a bit, all right? <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman to your left, he fires. It's pretty, pretty close to a bullseye as well, uh, and he just puts it down a little, folds his arms quietly, waits for the next one. I repack the pistol, and I take aim calibrating for the fact that even though I was aiming straight at the target, it kind of went up and to the right, so I counteract the aim and aim a little bit lower to the left of the target to see if it will travel up into the bullseye. Uh, give me an intelligence check to see if you can calculate this properly. Intelligence. <laughs> Three. <laughs> okay. So, on Topsy your next turn, here. it's just going to be a straight roll. Oh, lovely. All right. So eventually it comes down the line again to you. Another 18. And the arc actually, you know, you realize, okay, aiming it just a little bit, uh, you think you overshoot it a bit, but then it turns out that the gun actually ends up accidentally calibrating for you from your overestimation, uh, and you get even closer this time towards bullseye. Not quite, but definitely closer than before. Uh, the gentleman next to you, he picks up, has already loaded, just, he's doing it one-handed, and he looks, and then fires once, right through, just, a, like, a hair's attention, a hair's distance away from a bullseye. And he God just puts, damn. It, puts it down, he's like, son of a bitch. Hey, brother, that's a kill in real life. Mm -hmm. Just kind of shrugs it off. And, um, yeah, if there's anything you want to do, again, something similar, um, you can kind of, you can make a, you can do perception to kind of uh, eye, uh, like, a little bit more, like, calculating your distance and stuff, or you can do the intelligence roll again. Um, the DC will be a bit higher uh, for you to try and get that bullseye. But I will say that your DC, your bullseye for DC is getting a little bit higher too. Got it. I, I'm gonna do the perception check this time, okay. uh, just because I have a little bit more of a, of a bonus in that. So mm -hmm. let's see. Okay, that's 15 plus four, 19. The 19, you realize it might actually be best to change hands. Hmm. So I take it out of my right hand, I put it in my left. Give me the uh, attack roll with advantage again. Hmm. So I, before I make the, I like hold my left arm out and my mind kind of goes back to a dusty plane with a bunch of like Mesa pottery bottles lined up on a fence and a a taller golden eagle Arakakra going like, no, you must make sure that you aim correctly at the target to take a deep breath and fire. And I go to shoot. <laughs> um, 19. One better. Almost fit. When you look at the marking, there's a judge, uh, one of the attendants, the uh, judge tells one of the attendants, go take a look at that. They, take, they look at the mark, and it's right at the barrier where you actually do hit a bullseye this time. So they, they put a flag up of green that it's a bullseye, that it's a hit, and uh, they put a marker on yours that on the third round, you got a bullseye. The one next to you, uh, the elf, uh, gentleman next to you takes a look and there's a nod of approval. He takes his hat off, he wipes the sweat off his brow. He looks at yours. He switches hands too, just to see. Fires, but his apparently wasn't all that, di was a little bit different in calibrating, uh, and he overestimates it and fires just way wide outside of the target. Ooh. He's like, ah, 
Can't win them all, right? Ain't that the truth? Hey, good shooting out there. What's your name? Awaka. Nice to meet you. My name's, uh, kind of looks around. <clears throat> I am, um, can be a friend. As long as you, uh, as long as you, uh, don't, um, involve me with other people we, uh, may or may not know. <laughs> Let me tell you something, friend. Uh, I've had people say that line to me many a time, and, uh, since you haven't shot me in the back yet, I think you're in good graces so far. Recognized you by, uh, well, <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, there ain't not a lot. I'm aware of the fact that there ain't a lot of Aarakocra walking around this part of the continent. Uh, I used to run with a few fellas that uh, told me to avoid a guy like you. And, um, to be honest, <laughs> surprised you didn't see me shaking in my boots. <laughs> like I said, friend, nobody paid me to find you. It's good to know because I've done a hell of a lot to make sure that I ain't living that life anymore. But um, if uh, you're looking for uh, some particular types, I really hope that you get into this guild because otherwise dealing with law around here, it's a bit tougher. Well, I know a few people around here as well, and uh, I agree the, I guess, bounty hunter registrations don't hold as much weight as they used to, but uh, I've been keeping my eye on this place ever since I got the notice, and I think it'll help provide some intel that maybe I've been missing, but uh, just curious, as we're walking out of the, the shooting range. Yeah, these guys, you guys are collecting your weapons at this point. These guys who uh, told you about me, were they orcish? Half orc? Yeah. Oh, hmm. bad dude. Tattoos on the upper mm -hmm. right shoulder? Mm -hmm. All the same kind. And they're in the city? Well, from what I hear, they might be uh, doing some gun running. And, uh... Hmm. Whether it's on the lower uh, sections or not, I haven't seen it, but I've definitely heard about it, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Good to know. Best of luck to you, friend. Well, thank you. I uh, didn't catch your name, by the way. Because I didn't give it. Have a good one. <laughs> he heads out quietly and trying to be discreet. As I, as I pass by the table with the... Um, with the guy handing out the pistols, I look at him and I go, you gotta recalibrate these things. They're shooting all over the place. Well, good to know. I guess I'll uh, talk to our gunsmiths and um, we'll, pay, we'll take note of that, you know? I feel bad for that guy. And he points to the dwarf who's like pouring his hand. Oh, for fuck's sake, yeah, it's just it. You know, you put, you put too much powder in these things. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. That's the things about city folk. That's more dangerous than uh, an asshole with a gun. And I like, <laughs> I like put mine into my holster and sling the rifle across my back. So, um, what do I win? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they give you five gold. Ooh. Well, thank you kindly. And I leave a gold for the for the person run, for the person running the the pistol stand. I like just flip it into his hands and I go. Have a nice day. And I walk Thank back you. to the group. Thank you. Um, and uh, back with back with the group, you guys are all uh, all, all seeing that he has come back uh, with a little bit more gold in his pocket. If Arlen was watching, would she have seen the dwarf hurt his hand? Absolutely. She would have gone to help. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just saying that it burns if it... Oui, non, oh. d'accord. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. I have been blessed to be certain. <laughs> she just like sits down and gets more on his level and just um You are celestial <laughs> No the most I, beautiful I'm... creature I've ever seen. Heal me, tall mommy. <laughs> I 
I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be forewarned, but my goodness, I didn't know they made people like you. <laughs> I, uh, we, I don't, I just <laughs> As give me your hands. He's just wrapping some bandage yeah. around. And ointment and... <laughs> just she's stuttering the entire yeah. time, just going, uh, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> just well, sort of. Thank you very much, dear lady. Uh, uh, I've been... you? Ah, oh, the it's, language it's... just gets me every time around here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, if if this starts to hurt again, uh, just come see oh, me. Oh, you'll be the, the first pit. one I look for, that's it'll... for sure. Duck <laughs> off. Uh, well, you, I'm easy to find. <laughs> oh, I'd say. <laughs> she sort of. Gets up, goes yeah. back to the group and just has he a really him. kind of like. Harlan's <laughs> <laughs> got a boyfriend. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Luna just gets kicked into a pile of barrels. He's like, ah! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the. Um, uh, as you guys head back to the fight pits, you see that it's actually closed down. Um, there, ha- uh, Tank Tolman is standing outside his uh, the the area talking to other officials. It's like, no, no, we said no lethal weapons. All right, I don't want anything like that coming into here and making this thing uh, disgraceful. We we do not. You let, and he's just berating some of the guards that it's a, you let them bring it. You had no foresight whatsoever um, to bring it through a Arlen immediately goes to the tent, goes to the first aid tent. And you, he is just scolding people. And uh, there is a person to the side. They are, um, uh, there is a halfling that is treating a stab wound that just, uh, it's just, it's just like, it's bandaged up, but they are like, Holding it tightly. Shit. And and uh, uh, Tolman is just pissed off, and he like smashes a table and leaves this huge splintered dent inside of it. This is not how we do things here at the guild. None of you would be worthy of wearing this symbol. He storms out. <laughs> uh, the cleric that was instructing you says, "Oh." Dear, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, we're, we're kind of, you're free, you're, you have the rest of the day, you're free to, it seems like this, this just, someone came in and snuck in a dagger during their fight. No, mm-hmm. they've been locked away though, the, the, the authorities came and they took care of them. Is anyone hurt? Did they? Oh, the, the poor gentleman over here, uh, he's uh, just, he, he took, took a, I get to the side, and we were able to close it up, and we, we, we properly, he, he's, uh, he's going to be okay, but it's, it's definitely, it's certainly going to leave a bad scar. Wait, but that is what fighting is does. It, uh, hey, can't bro- heal everything. I, like, mosey over to the halfling, and like, hey, little brother. Hey, you, uh, you catch the fight? <laughs> No, I was over the shooting range, but I did hear you got a little bit of a nick. Ah, uh, yeah, to say the least. Uh. This guy who stuck a knife in, you get a good look at him? Oh, uh, yeah, apparently. I, you know, he was kind of shady looking, hooded, and I just got this, like, angry face on him. He just came after me. I don't know. I'm, I'm Anzier, by the way. He winces. Yeah, don't worry about it, brother. I get it. Sorry. Oh, God. I don't know. He just got this wild look in the face. I heard from the authorities that um, apparently he was like running with the crew last night, and, and they ran. One of them like they ran away from this this fight that was going on. Um, oh, they were. You know, glad they got that bastard though. God, <laughs> that hurts. Oh, yeah. Well, at least only one of them got through to here. 
don't gotta worry about the rest of his friends coming back. So, I mean, are you with the guild? I just figured that's why you were talking to me. No, I'm just, uh, consider it a fellow adventurer just checking up on another human being. Yeah, I'm giving up this life, though. No, this is, I'm not cut out for this. There's no way. It's, it's ow. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some rest. Uh, maybe get out of here. I don't know. Good luck. The rest of it. Ow. You too, brother. <laughs> Limps away. And I kind of walk back to the group and I go, seems like our uh, little assailant was uh, one of the bums in the alley that got away. Damn it. They say that <sighs> they have him. Oh. Yeah. We can know. We can peut-être go and check and speak well the cops have him and uh the ones that in the alley said that they were tracking him down so the authorities have him not really much we can do at this point i'm uh, gonna make a uh, oh, quick sorry. perception check if that's okay just to see yeah, if i please. can see anyone else who looks similar to the people we fought last night okay 16. uh as you do a scope um you do see um that uh, someone in similar clothing to what you were encountered um, is heading, it seems, towards the stage area where the uh, the publicly advertised Battle of the Bards is going on. Uh, you guys, does that, uh, that guy looking over, or heading over towards the stage right there, looks a little bit familiar, right? I cock an eye over in that direction. Do I see the individual too? Uh, yeah, I look too. As yeah, well. uh, when it, it's once once Finn points out uh, pretty like well enough, you do recognize that it does look like someone that was uh, part of that gang that you ran into in the alley. Was if, that one of the ones who wanted to go after Claude? Mm-hmm. Let's they, ask him a couple questions. If they messed up and interrupted the fighting pit, I can only imagine they're going to try to do similar to the to the Battle of the Bards. I mean, Andy, you said you were planning on entering that, right? Uh, well, I mean, obviously. Okay, so how about we head over? Uh, you could enter, and we could try to keep an eye out and run a little bit of uh, are we, are security, we using, so to say. Are we okay. using Andy as bait? No. She or, we could pummel him. or we could pummel him right here, right now. Let's go. I, I enjoy mean, that. I don't think that prospective members of the guild should start off their membership by pummeling a random audience member right now. Especially, the guy looks like he was wearing the same thing of the people last night. He, we don't know for sure that he's part of it, but if we keep an eye on him, at least we can, if he tries some trouble, we can at least stop it ahead of time. Because right, they're, right. not, they're not after me, they're after Claude. Should, should someone, like, should I... Like I could, maybe I could find him. And like, well, if if Claude's him? gonna take part in it as well, he was a bard as well. So I mean, yes. hey, so Claude hey, I mean, night. if you're on <laughs> stage, if you're on stage with him, you'll be right there to protect him if something happens. I, I mean, let's not get too hasty. I, I'm just right. saying. <laughs> but I mean, well, to be honest, that asshole looks like he needs protecting 24 seven. So really, Claude? anyone with yes. a stick could probably do a good job. Right. <sighs> Can I at least uh, tail him? Uh, <laughs> yes, <it's like. laughs> um, yeah. Uh, hey, was that a joke? Was that a was that a was that a Harry what? joke? <laughs> what? <laughs> Luke, hey, Maring yeah. looks at everyone confused. Does not get the I, joke. I look at I look at Mary and I go just 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 don't. <laughs> Don't what? Don't what? What? Don't worry about it. Well, you make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. They don't get tail jokes. <laughs> oh. Okay. 